Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday, everybody, on this 15th of November. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Lawrence, Michael, Grant, good to see you all. Brian, everybody, all you Cyber Traders, everybody ready for the weekend? Damn, the cold is kicking in so far. I don't know about where you are, but freezing over here in New York. But anyway, um, today's Friday. We know what to expect. And um, a couple of stocks moved this morning. We're going to talk about them. Some got destroyed. We're going to talk about this TROC. That was a classic. And we're going to talk about some other ones. Uh, we got that JC Pennies and everything else. A lot of moving stocks, but we're going to also uh, let, let's go over and see what's going on for today, uh, what happened yesterday. And then we'll uh, go through what's moving this morning. First of all, a couple of nice little moving stocks yesterday. Uh, we had the Cisco trade yesterday. Uh, that stock uh, earnings came out. They're really not going anywhere. You know, when you could see the point of that, you could see it went from 48 down to 44. You look here in the long-term chart, it was a pretty decent short. Time frame doesn't look that good. There you go, right there. That was actually a little bit more of a brand name stock, not really my forte. You know, uh, there's some of those, some other stocks that were a lot better. And it basically got, got crushed uh, third day in a row. DGC, <laughs> I mean, this thing is just like, just pouring it and pouring Pouring it down, just literally getting crushed. What a nice little stock right there, too. And, you know, short everywhere. Look at that. It's testing, uh, it's testing the lows. I'm putting this back on the watch list. You know, sometimes we trade stocks from the day before till the following day because sometimes they keep trickling down. That's how we find day trades to become swing trades. My best trade yesterday was the CLVS. I know a lot of you guys got on that trade right there. That stock... Um, just literally had a great, great pop right in the middle of the day. It just literally just went from uh, 620 all the way to 660. That one was a really, really nice one. IGT, another great mover. That's actually a lot prettier. The only thing I didn't like about um, IGT is it got some, once in a while, it had some really, really ugly uh, spreads. And that was about it. But other than that, everything else kind of worked out pretty well. So everybody did pretty well yesterday. Oh, we had the Piton. That was pretty cool. And uh, what was the other one that we had? I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Anybody remember what else we had? We had another stock that was pretty good yesterday. We had the Piton. We had that one. Uh, no, not that. Which one was it? There was one more stock that we did pretty well on. I'm trying to think. There's just so many of them that we traded yesterday. Unfortunately, a lot of them moved in the middle of the day. It was it CRZO? Is that what it was? Well, that was a nice short right there. No, the AMRN, the, a, the AMRN is moving now. And, I mean, it had a big move, you know, the day, uh, two days before. It's moving again right now, but that's basically what we have. All right, so um, let's go talk about what's moving today because there are a couple of good stocks that are moving this morning. Now, regarding about what we're trading, listen, um, I, I took, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I took two losses this morning already. And let me tell you something. I broke my 30-second rule. The stocks didn't go my way. I took a very, very small loss. And thank God I got out of them. Because if I didn't, I would have lost probably three times more than what I did. And let's talk about them really quick. You know, I'm a big a bottom fisher. Okay? And I love bottom fishing. Uh, and that's not talking about the fish in general. Just like I love stocks that get crushed. And uh, this stock right here has just been getting literally destroyed last couple of days you could see it had a nice little rally went to 10 look where it is a buck 70 now let me just change it uh change this view right here all right so i had the stock i was hovering right around two dollars and i i averaged down i bought a little bit more at a buck 95 and then and then it literally just dropped to about a buck uh but uh a, a buck 87, and it was like, you know what? Things not going my way. Went back to, back to two. I was trading it right around 8.15. I know a lot of us jumped in around 8 o'clock. We saw a nice little run. I, you know, sometimes when, it, when these stocks get this decimated, they don't really come back. So I thought it was coming back when I looked at around 8.30, and it didn't, and I got out of it, and good thing we did because look where it is at a buck 60. And the other one that almost got me was the J.C. Penny. Um. I, I know Grant, we were talking about it earlier when he used Grant says that was a good call, Faust, on the Grant. Well, you know what? I said I had support levels at 30. 
and at buck 30 i'm like you know it's not really breaking it and you know another one i bought it at 31 it was hovering at 30 and then i saw a big buyer get executed at at, at 30 and it went to 29 i got out of 29 and got out of it and once again look where it ends so remember you know even though being your mentor and and being here in trading you gotta understand something you don't win every trade okay you don't win every trade and you know everybody always likes to talk about the winners the funny part is nobody likes to talk about losers all right so here i want everybody to know in the cyber group room we do lose money you know i mean you see like jerry just made 26 cents in amrn benito just made a 45 cents in amrn that's great you know but we also lose and so if and the big thing is just like you're in class yesterday you know how you learn how to trade losing money that's how you learn you learn from losing you know why because if you know why you did it you're not going to do it again that's how trading works so you can't always think that every trade you make you're going to win so anyway that's that's one of the lessons that hopefully a lot of you learn in the pre-market um and you know this is pretty pretty normal you know, pretty normal as in on a Friday, you know, not the greatest uh, days. Remember, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays is always the best days to trade. Now, let's talk about what's moving in the market. Um, let me give you the watch list that I found. Uh, first of all, we have this AIHS. Uh, the stock has been on a huge run-up and um, big, big mover. It's up 169% right now. Very, very cheap stock. Unfortunately, my broker won't let me trade it. Uh, it breaks the 50-50 rule. You know, which we'll actually teach you in class, but some some brokers will let you trade it. Personally, if you look at the stock, it's a penny stock. It's got no orders out there, you know. And I, and I just said, you know what? You're, you're dealing with the wild, wild west when it comes to this stock right here. So good thing um, I would have made money on it, but we're losing one of our number one features that help us know how to trade, and that's the level three. Without that, we're trading blind. Uh, another stock that's moving, PSTV, right here. You know what? She gapped up. The stock was a $16 stock. You know, the stock had a after hours. You could see it had a nice little pop, but she's kind of flatline in pre-market, which kind of like throws me off. You could see the stock was not too long ago was at $16, one of those stocks that got destroyed. So this is one of the stocks I kind of like to trade uh, because maybe now is the time it's going to make a little bit of a comeback. It does got some resistance levels a couple of days ago, so you can use it. It's got great orders there on the level three, so we'll keep an eye on that one. Um, a little bit of a brand name stock, but it's been a great swing trade. It's been AMAT and AMD. You can see they're all doing very, very well. Uh, AMD just breaking you know, great, great highs right here. But they're not really been the greatest day trading stocks. You know, you got to be careful with them. They move too pretty, pretty damn volatile. You got to be a level three, level four type of trader to trade those stocks. EORC, once again, good thing. You know, if you looked at my uh, what I chatted earlier, what what I put it? Okay, uh, I put it in the chat earlier. A uh, few nice stocks this morning. Spreads big. J C Penney took a loss. I talked about that. Uh, what did I put it in the chat? I, I, oh, if you look in the chat, it says, be careful of the stock right here. It's got some nasty shakes, you know, and, you know, with those shakes, you know, they're going to do it. You know what, Andrea, let the stock break a resistance. I don't have a problem paying like 220, 230, but you know what? It, it's all over the place. Unless you're going to do nickels and dimes with this one, be very, very careful. I'd rather let it break out. But as of right now, it hasn't really done that. JC Penny, you could see. Good thing we sold that one. That one just literally just did a complete reversal, but it was a good swing trade. If you look at the long term, it's actually been making from sixty cents. I can't believe the stock is still trading, or they did a reverse stock split on it. Doesn't make any sense. Another stock that's moving really nice too. That took a huge hit, um, starting to make a little bit of a comeback. Uh, spread starting to get a little bit better right now. Is the FTCH? The stock is looking pretty nice, and I'm going to put the CGGC which we all know this is from yesterday and it guess what it's still breaking lower lows so um that was a really nice short right there on that one all right anything i'm missing that i did not call out tra cyber traders anything else listen wait the first five minutes of the open don't jump in and get too cocky immediately let things pan out 
You know there's always new stocks that do come up when the market opens up. You know, yesterday we had a bunch of stocks in pre-market, but only one or two of them move, and then we found a bunch of new ones. So uh, just be very, very careful. You know what? I looked at that, Neil, JD, but it's not really going anywhere. You know, it's, it, it's up 4 points, you know, 4.5%, but it's kind of flat in pre-market. Since 7.30 this morning, really has been sitting here. So kind of not re really, you know, that's why I didn't put it on the list. Okay, and look at the tier sizes, one, 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 seven, seven thousand, one, one, thirteen hundred. I mean, definitely got a couple iceberg orders out there at specific prices, but eh, not too, not too excited about it. Remember, less risk, more reward. That's what it's all about. OK, everyone, listen, you got about uh, a little less than 15 minutes before the market opens up. Why don't you go, guys, get yourself ready, get your cup of coffee, hit the restrooms. And um, because if you're in a if you're not in a trade yet, we'll wait the next five minutes. All right, guys, good luck today. Happy trading, and uh, we'll see you all back at 2.30, trade the afternoon. If you make your money early, take the money and run. Enjoy the weekend. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.